Shocking scenes a couple of days ago in the very heart of London really did shock many people, including myself. Simply because, of course, if you now know the story, these particular horses were spooked, all thanks to some building work nearby at Buckingham Palace, and they literally went on the loose throughout central London. But as ever with the story, it suddenly escalates, doesn't it, about how these particular animals are possibly not being treated in the best light. And more importantly, why are there over 150 horses stationed at the prestigious Buckingham Palace? Let me explain. Morning, lovely to see you. Thank you so much for taking the time out today. Nice to have your company. We'll have a quick wave. Yeah, I don't know about you. I found this, you know, particularly the white horse with the blood. Oh, it was terrible, wasn't it? Because, you know, they literally were just running around, not quite sure what had happened. You can understand that. And let's also send out good wishes to the household cavalry uh, officers who, of course, were thrown uh, from the horses. You know, nothing too serious, I am told, but, you know, nonetheless, a terrible shock for them. And as we now know, His Majesty the King has already uh, had the information sent to him as has of course the princess royal princess Anne. literally every member of the senior monarchy is a, a wonderful horse lover but over here in the united kingdom this is the problem you know there's always somebody ready to stick the boot in as they say you know and the bigger story now is emerging about how exactly many horses are in the household cavalry now just to give you a count there's around about 150 or so between knightsbridge and buckingham palace of course a lot more around other sort of uh, historic royal castles and palaces this is because they are part of ceremonial duties now the reason being is all of these activists that say they shouldn't be shut up they shouldn't be cut away they are possibly the very best looked after animals horses in the world when you see these fine specimens of animals up close their coats are glistening their medals are their shoes are the best shoes that you could possibly look for literally in that world they're fed the very best and they have a lot of dare i say entertainment for themselves simply because they get to know their trainers their owners their riders so you know a lot of people again and it's just really i wanted to clear this story up because the way it's trying to escalate over here is, is that horses don't normally do that well horses don't normally hear a massive ton of concrete being slapped down as they're on their early morning canter people know the routine the horses know the routine and normally it's a very sort of shall we say subdued affair obviously that happening at that time in the morning you can understand what went wrong what i find fascinating is it's the world we live in isn't it that now everything has to be escalated into some kind of negative all I can tell you, and I know a lot of people have been in touch with me on social media asking, you know, how are they, the horses now? Doing fine. Not Some may not return to full-time work simply because of the shock that they encountered. Maybe a little bit too risky on big ceremonial events like Troop in the Colour and other things, you know, coming up. But equally, we have to say, thankfully, nobody was seriously injured. And more importantly, it was very quickly uh, put under, you know, shall we say, and very quickly it was nice to see that everything was got back to normal without any serious injury. More importantly though, for those naysayers that are saying it's terrible the way that the horses are kept away, trust me, you have no idea the luxury that those wonderful animals live in. And rightly so too. They do a splendid job when we have such wonderful ceremonial events like Trooping of the Colour, Coronation and things like the Platinum Jubilee. And who would argue with that? I don't think even Mr Edward. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.